Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about our fears about artificial intelligence and how we might overcome them. Because as it continues to revolutionize most all industries, higher education is no exception. Um, it offers unparalleled opportunities to enhance our teaching and learning and several other processes. Now, while there are potential benefits and they are undeniable, it's important to acknowledge and discuss the potential challenges, fears, and risks associated with this AI technology in, in our classes. So one of the most prevalent concerns or fears um, is the impact of AI on job security um, and for educators. Uh, as AI becomes more sophisticated, there are fears that it could automate certain teaching and administrative tasks, potentially leading to job displacement. Um, I mean, it's crucial for institutions to address these concerns through transparent communication and really proactive measures to support faculty and staff during this transition to um, you know, more AI-driven uh, practices. Another concern relates to just the quality of education itself. And while AI offers pers uh, personalization and efficiency, some worry that it could or it may not be able to fully replicate the nuanced understanding, empathy, and that human co connection that are all hallmarks of effective teaching. Now, striking a balance between AI-powered tools and the irreplaceable role of human educators is essential for ensuring really a high quality educational experience for the students and for the teachers institutions as well. Now, data privacy and security are also paramount in this any, any educational setting. And as these AI systems collect and analyze vast amounts of student data, concerns about potential misuse, unauthorized access, and data breaches are valid. So institutions must prioritize robust data protection measures really to safeguard uh, sensitive information and really to stay on top of the, the, the most advanced security measures to do so. Now, the issue of equality also arises in the context of AI adoption. Not all institutions are equal or have equal access to resources and infrastructure required to implement these AI technologies effectively in our classrooms. Um, now, this disparity could exacerbate, you know, existing inequalities in education, leaving some students and institutions at a disadvantage. Ensuring equal access to AI-powered tools, specifically in, a, in a overall an institution, but overall in general, um, is, is a critical challenge that we must overcome. Now, finally, there are the ethical considerations surrounding the use of AI in all education. Issue, issues such as algorithmic bias, transparency, and accountability must be addressed to ensure that AI is used ethically and fairly, not only by the institution, but by the students specifically in writing. Now, while all these concerns are valid, you know, they shouldn't deter us from exploring all the potential of AI to transform, you know, higher education and our classrooms specifically. And, you know, if we proactively address these challenges and engage in open dialogue, we can harness this power to create more accessible, equal, and effective um, educational landscapes, you know, overall. Now, one of the most promising applications of AI lies in its ability um, to personalize learning experiences um, by tailoring instruction to individual student needs, preferences, and learning styles, AI can foster more effective learning and improve student engagement. Um, you know, um, furthermore, AI-powered tools, they're streamlining many uh, um, administrative tasks, automating processes such as, you know, multiple choice grading, scheduling, and even data entry. Now, this automation allows us to dedicate more time to you know, our planning, student mentorship, student uh, conferencing, and our professional development. Now, AI is also proving invaluable in just brute data analysis. By analyzing vast amounts of students' performance data, AI can identify patterns and trends that enable us to make data-driven decisions, um, personalize interventions, and ultimately improve, you know, the student achievement and experience. Um, now, accessibility is also a crucial area where AI is making significant impacts. Um, technologies such as speech rec recognition, text-to-speech, um, and predictive text are breaking down barriers for students with disabilities um, and really ensuring a more inclusive learning environment for, for everyone. Now, finally, 
AI is instrumental in maintaining, you know, our global competitiveness. Competitiveness um, by integrating AI in higher education um, in all of our institutions, it can equip our students with skills that they're going to need to thrive in an um, increasingly AI-driven world. Um, AI integration positions institutions at the forefront of innovation in education, and once again, it prepares our students for the world that they're going to graduate into. Now, what's our plan for success with AI, specifically in higher ed? You know, implementing AI doesn't, it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Um, it's all about taking the right steps. So step one um, is all about education. We need to cultivate a culture of understanding and acceptance um, within our schools and within our classrooms. This means providing comprehensive training um, and resources for faculty, staff, and students so they can see the potential for AI and feel comfortable using it for their whole education, right? Remember, knowledge is power, so we need to equip them with that knowledge. Next, we need to start small. We don't want to try to overhaul the, the whole experience at once. We can begin with small pilot programs in very specific areas or classes, like maybe some of this automated uh, administrative tasking um, in personalized learning experiences. This allows us to test the waters, um, learn from our experiences, and refine as we go, iterate, and just expand as we move forward. Now, collaboration is also key. Partnering with tech companies and other AI experts gives us access to the latest advancements in expertise. Um, we've done this in the past. Uh, they can help us navigate the whole technological landscape and ensure that we're using AI the most effective way that we possibly can. Ethics should be at the forefront of every decision we make within this, right? We need to establish a robust ethical framework that addresses issues like bias, privacy, and fairness. Um, this ensures that AI is used responsibly and equally, benefiting all students. Um, of course, we need resources, right? This means securing funding, which can be a, a great impediment, and investing it in the infrastructure needed for AI implementation. Um, this could involve reallocating existing resources or moving them, seeking out you know, grants, uh, or exploring partnerships with other tech companies. Remember, this is going to be an ongoing process. We need to constantly evaluate the effectiveness of our AI tools, gather feedback from students and staff, and make adjustments as needed, um, you know, as we go. Um, and finally, let's not forget to involve our students. Their input is invaluable. Um, by including them in the planning and implementation process, which we're doing, we can ensure that the AI tools are truly meeting their needs and enhancing their learning experience, right? And by, by following this roadmap, um, you know, we can navigate many of the complexities of AI integration and harness um, its transformative potential. Um, together, we can create, you know, a brighter tomorrow for higher ed. Um, and it's evident that we're standing at a pivotal moment. And while concerns about such things as job security, educational quality, privacy ethics, and many other issues, the potential for AI to positively revolutionize our teaching and learning is all but undeniable. And by you know, embracing AI with thoughtful planning and collaboration and commitment to ethical practices, we can overcome these challenges and really unlock a future way where AI serves as a powerful tool to personalize our learning and prepare our students for success in an increasingly AI-driven world. And though it may be complex, um, there are potential rewards and they're great. So let's kind of embrace this future together. And, uh, you know, one where AI empowers us to create a more equal, effective, and engaging learning environment for all of us, our students, as well as our schools. Thank you. And as always on the stack, I have a much more detailed um, version of this with a lot of details to help you kind of get in there and figure it out. See you next time.